my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got some Geo nails I'd like to share with you. These were inspired by my friend JKB. Here's a picture of her manicure. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> so I'm going to get started. I've got my base colors already down and I have started this manicure off with Unt Peel Off Base Coat. And this is Zoya's Thea. And that was on my thumb and then I've got Zoya Carter on my pointer finger and then next on my two accent fingers I have OPI I have a herring problem it's a beautiful polish I love this one and then on my pinky I have Zoya's Alice I've got a coat of top coat on them posh to make them all dry and I'm going to use those same polishes to make my geode. And this one is, of course, the Thea. And I'm going to use a little brush that I have trimmed down. It's a little wonky looking, but it works. And I know I'm a little bit out of frame almost. There we go. Get it together. <laughs> And I'm just, you know, rocks and formations like that, things in nature are not always perfect. So um, that's why I wanted to attempt this one. And of course, I'm completely out of frame now. I apologize. Um, but I was really focusing on this because I did want them to look good. And I'm doing a big one down the middle on my ring finger, but I'm doing like a partial one down in the corner also. So there's what we have so far with Thea. And I'm rinsing my brush off in some acetone and wiping it clean. And now we're going to jump on into using the Carter. And originally I planned on leaving these textured, but I have issues with textured polishes sometimes. So I just went ahead and I'm going to end up top coating these. I really did want that chunky look, but I, you know, I've got to wash my hair tonight. And <laughs> you know, the struggle is real, people. <laughs> got some dishes that will need to be done and I just I decided to go ahead and smooth them out a little bit but I'm just going around the outside of that first blob <laughs> with this lighter shade with the Carter and here I go I'm gonna mess up and I'm not gonna do the middle finger just yet we're gonna jump on in to use an Alice on the ring finger getting a little ahead of myself but that's okay It'll all get done. And I'm going to take Alice and run it around the edge of the other polish, the Carter. Just kind of, and it's not, I'm not doing real straight lines or anything like that. I'm just, you know, trailing the edge, the uneven edge of my geode. I looked at a lot of pictures of geodes before I did this one. I looked at a lot of geode manicures, and there's some amazing ones out there. But this is going to be my rendition. And it's here that I realized, wait a minute, I didn't do the other layer. So I'm going to have to add some more Carter back down to my little strip of tape that I'm using as my palette. Now I can go in with Carter and once again out of frame. There we go. Back in frame. And I'm trying to get better about that, guys. I'm just, <laughs> I try to zoom in so y'all can see what I'm doing, but then it's too close and I get out of frame so easily. And now my Alice has dried up, so gotten goopy, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of that down. Keep on keeping on. I'd been wanting to do this manicure for a very long time. Um, me and my friend had been chatting back and forth on emails and just talking about ideas and <laughs> it just finally came to light. I finally got, got a chance to do it. Next I'm going to go in with this Polish Invisibility Cloak. This is one of my all-time favorite polishes. It's 
unique and beautiful and I just really knew that I had to incorporate this one into this manicure today. I'm again out of frame. Doing my out of frame queen roll today. There we go. Finally, finally realized. And I'm just going lightly around the edge to just kind of mimic what they look like, or at least the pictures I saw of them. And I do have this on my other hand. I know sometimes I have mixed matched manicures, but this one I really wanted to wear on both hands. And I did do the geodes on the other hand before I did this hand. I kind of have a rule with myself that I always paint with my non-dominant hand first. Go ahead and get the hard part over with before heading on to the easier nail. And I was actually pretty happy with how the other ones turned out. So it was a keeper. There we go. I'm loving it already. It's got all the bling and crystally look to it. So we're going to go ahead and top this one off with some posh top coat and I'm going to put another coat over just the regular nails. With these being um, texture polishes, I like to be rather generous with the top coat because it does kind of dry down into those grooves of the polish. And I will have a swatch photo at the end for you to see finished manicure. Hopefully you can see it really well. But I really did love this one. I, this is probably one of my favorites. Something a little different. Definitely took a break from stamping today. Doing a little freehand, which is pretty rare. I got a fuzzy in there. I gotta get that out of my way. Don't want it sticking up in my design. I'm just so excited about these. I really hope you like them. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about these. I would love to hear from you. And there we go. I'm going to cap that in. And there you have it, sports fans, nail fans, buddies. That is my geode nails. And I really do like how these turned out. And here's my swatch photo. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a comment. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.